Hello everyone, this is Kathy with Train Up a Child Homeschooling, and today I'm bringing you a workbook flip through, a brand new easy peasy workbook. I am so excited to show you guys this because I have been waiting for Ali Giles to come up and come out with a full offline curriculum for kindergarten math. Now, as you may already know, Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool, the name is right here. They, um, it's, it's a website made by Lee Giles, which has a curriculum for every grade you can think of, for almost every in subject you can think of. And it's absolutely free if you choose to do it online and just print off the worksheets yourself. Now, if you want to do it offline, you can buy the workbook and they're very, very affordable. This uh, workbook that will cover a whole year of kindergarten math was only $12 if you get the black and white edition. If you get the color edition, then it's like around $22. This just came out this month. This month, she came out with a completely offline kindergarten math workbook. And I am so excited to show you guys this. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, whoa, because I love easy peasy math. I just love easy peasy. I have done their history in the past. I have done their their music, their art. I have done their math and language arts. I really, really enjoyed their curriculum. And, um, you know, even lately, my children haven't even been asking me they want to go back to easy peasy. Um, but I, I really, really enjoy their curriculum. Um, so I am, when I saw this, I, I was like, I have to get my hands on it. I want to see it. I want to see it. So I'm very excited for this. I am very excited to show you this. This is the own, well, so as of now, it is uh, June 28, 2024. This is the only video on YouTube that is shows that will be showing you this workbook. The only video I couldn't find any information about it on YouTube, so I, I just had to buy it and show you guys. And I am planning to use this with my youngest son, which will be in kindergarten later this year. So, without further ado, let's get started. So this will be the workbook and here you can write the child's name. Let me zoom in a little bit. So here it tells you how you can use this workbook. It says here that this workbook is designed to be used as a standalone or in conjunction with Easy Peasy's Kinder Math course. So as you proceed through the EP curriculum online, you can use this workbook to exercise your child's math skills. Now you don't have to do it along with their online. I really don't like their online math too much. I prefer easy peasy offline just because there's a lot of games into it and a lot of links that you have to click. And I just rather avoid that because sometimes these links may have advertisements. I mean, I don't know firsthand. I'm just assuming because these are like public websites, free websites, and those usually have like advertisements and things like that. And it's just, it's just something extra. I don't want to have to be skipping through advertisements. And anyways, I don't want my child sitting in, a, in front of a computer for too long. So I just, but I love Easy Peasy. I just love their offline stuff. But for their history and their signs, it is a lot of stuff is online. But that's easier to do because you're doing it as a family. Instead of just one child taking turns in the computer to do their math. So I avoid that as well. So... It says here that you can use this workbook to supplement daily lessons that you do from their online easy peasy curriculum. You can also use it to serve as an alternative to online activities, or you can use it to provide fine motor activities because this workbook contains a variety of pictures and shapes that are suitable for coloring, cutting, pasting, and or folding. So like she said, it can be used as a standalone curriculum or it can be used as a supplement. Okay, and then here it has information about their website. Okay, this is a material list, which is are just some very, very basic materials. You got pencil, glue, tape, scissors, crayons, clothespins, or you can use paper clips, stapler, file folder, and counters of your choice. Okay, so this is the daily lessons at a glance. Okay, they start off with counting. Um, I can see that this curriculum definitely has um, a very, um, what is the word, that a, a, ma a mastery vibe to it. Um, because I can see that it focuses a lot on counting and number recognition, which I think at a kindergarten age, that's great. Um, it focuses a lot on that. So it's definitely mastery in that sense. Um, so there's a lot of counting. There's shape patterns. There's counting backwards. Um, there's identifying counting and counting puzzle time. 
there are puzzles throughout this book which which i will be showing you and the kids have to cut the puzzle and then glue it back together um right at lesson 51 they start counting by tens okay lesson 51 um by lesson 82 they will be counting by twos there's also a lot of calendar work as you can see a lot of calendar work Okay, there's days of the week, there's matching up to 30, there's counting backwards from 20, there's shapes and colors. Okay, at lesson 95, they will they will start introducing addition. At lesson 112, there's a really cool thing, which are lap books, and like Easy Peasy is known for offering lap books um, in their courses, and we really, really enjoyed their lap books that they had for history. We really, really enjoyed those, so I'm excited to see them also in their math. I'll be showing you what those look like. Um, and less than 129, uh, your child will be introduced to subtraction. So it's quite a while into the year already where they will where they will be introduced into addition and subtraction. So just keep that in mind in case, you know, you may feel like your child is ready for addition right now. And like he's already over this counting stuff. Maybe maybe this might not be the best curriculum for you because they do focus a lot on counting, counting by twos, counting by tens, counting backwards, number recognition, all the way up to 100. They do cover that in pretty much like half of the workbook. The first half is just completely focused on that and calendar work. So if you feel like your child already has mastered counting to 100, then pretty much the first half of this workbook may not be beneficial to you. So keep that in mind. For my son, I think this will be great because my son is a, a young five-year-old and he's your he's just your average five-year-old. He's not like advanced or anything like that. So I think this would be a good start for him. There's also Roman numeral, numerals, sorry. There's Roman numerals starting from a lesson 177 and he goes to lesson 180. They will be subtracting by one, subtracting one and two and things like that, okay? Cal there's a lot of more calendar work and writing their numbers. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here just, here's your hundreds chart, which you will be uh, referring to a whole lot during this workbook. Okay, starts off very gentle. We're just counting from 1 through 10 here. Here is these uh, puzzles that I've talked to you about that you, you'll have them cut for you. Um, you'll cut them. And have the child do the puzzle. Sometimes he, they have to glue it back together. So there's a lot of counting. Counting to matching. Counting 11 and 20. We're pr probably planning to do two worksheets a day with this curriculum. Depending how long it will take us to do one worksheet. If it's a pretty simple page, we'll probably just do two. So we'll most likely end this um, before the school year is over. And that's okay. And we do. We're just going to jump into easy peasy math grade one. So here's more counting. Here you're going to create a counting book. Excuse me. Okay, sequencing, counting down from 10 to 0. So here you're counting backwards. Okay, there's a lot of cut and paste stuff out here. Here we have a puzzle that the kids are going to cut out. And then they're going to glue it here. So that's pretty fun. There's a lot of those. Okay, a lot of counting, more counting. This is a page that you're going to be using throughout the year. You're going to cut these out. And you're going to, there's a little envelope here that you will cut out and keep the keep them in there, the cards. Okay, here's some identifying counting and puzzle time. More cutting out the puzzle and then gluing it back together. Another puzzle, it's good to have the kids do puzzles because that really um, involves a lot of hand-eye coordination. It also involves a lot of critical thinking. Matching numbers to number words, you're also going to be cutting these out and keeping them because you are going to be using them throughout the year. I would suggest to laminate them. Color sorting. Also, the instructions for each page are on the top here, so you don't need any separate teacher's guide or anything like that. Okay, oh yes, I wanted to show you something here. Here's where you will begin to count by tens. Okay, skip counting by tens.
the child will be learning days of the week and there's going to be a lot of calendar practice in this curriculum so that's great calendar and months of the year maze okay more number cards Here they will be counting by twos. Begin to count by twos. Sequencing in calendar. Here it says find these numbers in the chart below and color them. So you're going to call out these numbers and your child has to find them in this chart. Here they got to fill in the missing numbers. So there's a lot of sequ uh, sequencing as well, which is good. That involves critical thinking. Okay, here's another envelope that will also hold the days of the week. Okay, and then here we have some addition, more addition. Okay. Oh, here's the lab book. Oops, I skipped the page. So this is what your lab book would look like. Let me zoom in a little bit um it's just pretty much a file folder and there's a bunch of things that you would uh, scan and print out or you can just get them from the workbook and you would um each day you would add a different piece to your lap book and it's a math counting lap book so those are really really fun for the kids to do my kids love doing these um in their history but of course the ones from history were had a history theme to it not math and here it gives you the printables or the reproducibles or just you can use them from straight from here, which that's probably what I will be doing. And then it'll, it gives you the exact instructions in every page. So here's more counting, more addition. Okay, so we're adding 4 plus 4, 4 plus 1. We're adding, oh, subtraction, 8 minus 3, 10 minus 6. We're crossing out to subtract here. Here we're comparing or actually doing the opposites more addition so once you get towards the end of the book there's a lot of addition and subtraction practice getting them ready for first grade okay just keep showing you here there's uh, some calendar writing some equations okay here they got to read the number and try to write the number subtraction and roman numerals and then that's it and then here they have some calendars so the, the workbook will, will be referring you to go to the calendar and fill in a new day of the week until the calendar is full there's several calendars there to do that with and in the back there's the answers key okay so that was the flip through for easy peasy's new full offline kindergarten math workbook. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. God bless you.